you. And that is really complicated. You have a girlfriend. This is a TV show. I hardly even know you. I, um, I'm just a little concerned so about my emotional state. So maybe that reaction is a little bit premature. I've been involved creatively before with somebody that I cared a lot for, and um, I just don't want that kind of thing to play out again. And if the potential is there, I'm not gonna go there because it was really crappy, and I don't want that in my life again. Whew. Damn cops. What? Let's see what kind of a big boy you are. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get this out. Wait a minute. You said cops. So what? Did they beat you? Did the cops beat you? Yeah. <sighs> You'd think they'd know better. Just beat the shit out of you, fuck you, and then wave their little badge and everything scot free. Did you report them? <laughs> oh no, that's funny. <laughs> that's real funny. Did it ever occur to you that you wouldn't be here if it weren't for me? Surprise! Mom and Dad and Leah are out trying to get some lawyer to declare you incompetent. They're saying you can't take care of yourself. So if I weren't here with you, you'd be gone. Well, I hate you, mother goddamn Teresa. You know, you're here on this farm for one reason. You want the farm. You don't give a shit about me. That's, that's why, don't, why don't you just do yourself a favor and get the hell out? What? Get out. Go on. You heard me. Get out. Just get the hell out. My grandfather on my mother's side and my grandmother on my father's side. She used drugs and he drank. And I, I don't think it was so much that you have. I think when ad with addiction, it's not so much that you have an addiction, it's that you have feelings underneath that you don't want to confront. During the past three years, I've spoken to you on many occasions about national concern. And where is my youth? The energy Who crisis. Saving that? Reorganizing the government, our nation's economy, and. So you're really going to go through with this? Yeah. And especially the peace. It's interesting. I thought we had talked about you considering going back to college. I'm 18 and I just want to have some fun, okay? Well, you can have really fun experiences at Queensboro College. Mom, say that again to yourself. Hey, come on, let's go! There's no cute girls in Queens. Jenny Fisher next door, she loves you. Yeah, she's a lesbian, right? No, I didn't know that. I need to know that there's a little you in there, too. Unless I get that, I don't think this is gonna happen. I just don't know what you're doing. Are you trying to be with my brother? Are you trying to be with me? I don't know what you want. I'm totally confused by you. And I need some honesty. I need full disclosure. Because I have a feeling that things are not as they seem to be. Are you what you seem to be? No, I'm not. I'm not even close to what I seem to be. Once upon a time, there was a very, very <laughs> sweet girl with some crazy red hair from a small town, a little tiny hick town in Iowa. <laughs> She was a sweet little princess. Am I not? She moved out to Hollywood. Am I not? And she met a very nice boy. And then what? And they went to some Hollywood parties. And then what? And then they... See, everybody always 
runs out of and then what? What can we do to end this madness? Revoke all the firings that we did. We're sitting here trying to negotiate terms. You can't just ask for 100% of what you want. Why? I mean, negotiations don't work them. Why not? I know you've never been in this situation before, usually doing your show in front of the camera dressed as a puppy dog, but this is the real world. You can't get everything you want. No, it's funny. I've been in the workforce for quite some time right. now, sure and I've never had on many these little two people come into some corporation Moxie, that I've worked my for job and is fired everybody. By a fucking thread. Well, I'm I sorry. I was humiliated in front of my fucking boss. How do you think those people you? who you fired felt when they had to raise their hands like they were? Three of those people are over 58 years old. They've been with this company over 25 years. You gotta know when the expiration date. Some. They go bad a few days before, some you could drink a week after. But you gotta know when your time is up. 